नमस्ते प्रणाम गीता ध्यान ओ पार्थय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणेन स्वयं व्यासेन ग्रथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्य महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायि अंबत्वासंदा भगवदीते भगवेशिणी ओ भगवदीता विथ विच लॉर्ड नारायण हिमसेल्फ गेव एनलाइटनमेंट टू अर्जुन द एंशंट सेज व्यास इंक्लूडेड इट इन द महाभारत ओ गॉडेस शॉपर ऑफ द नेक्टर लाइक नॉलेज ऑफ नॉन डिजम कंटेंट इन योर एटीन चैप्टर्स O oh, my affectionate mother the destroyer of rebirth i meditate upon thee prishtavandana vasudeva sutam devam kansa chanura mardanam devaki paramanandam krishnam vande jagat guru son of vasudeva the slayer of kansa and chanur extreme delight for mother devaki o oh lord krishna the supreme teacher of the universe my salutations to you shrimad bhagavad gita 8th adhyay the akshara brahma yoga and uh, this 8th adhyay has started by very intelligent queries uh, from arjuna having heard about uh, the gnana vidyana yoga the as uh, uh, explained by shri krishna in the that seventh adhyaya taking a cue of the last two uh, verses of the dhyana vidyana yoga now arjuna has decided to uh, uh, get some of his doubts removed pertaining to that 29th and 30th shloka of the seventh adhyaya dhyana vidyana yoga and accordingly the 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 uh, the uh, eighth adhyay of akshara brahma yog starts with arjuna asking those questions to shri krishna and uh, 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 since the nature of this discussion in this eighth adhyay is going to be more of a explanatory nature of the uh, ex- explanatory nature of the nature of brahman of the imperishable and uh, unchangeable nature of the brahman the eighth adhyay has been termed as akshara brahma yoga because arjuna's query is pertaining to this particular aspect of the reality of the ultimate reality which we are going to get the realization after getting that knowledge that 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 is the shri krishna's uh, objective of teaching all these teachings that the devotees should get into that stage of attaining vidyana attaining the realization of who we are the concrete answer to the question who i am that can only be had when we get this self realization and arjuna is a most uh, wonderful student that uh, shri krishna can ever get having heard to listened to whatever shri krishna has said now arjuna starts this eighth adhyay with a doubt where arjuna has asked kim tad brahma kim adhyatmam kim karma o purushottam o best among the men please tell me in details let me have the complete understanding of what is this brahman that you spoke about in the 29th shloka what is this adhyatma you talked about adhyatma now i don't know what adhyatma is basically and kim karma what is this karma yoga you told in the, uh, the third adhyaya fine that was about uh, you know doing our whatever has come to our lot without any expectation but in terms of self realization what is this karma then adibhutam chakim 
प्रोक्तम अधिदैवम किमुच्यते यू लेट मी नो अबाउट दीज थ्री थिंग्स एंड ऑल्सो द टू थिंग्स वॉट इज इट दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अधिभूत द गवर्निंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ एवरीथिंग दैट कैन बी सीन दैट इज मटेरियल मूवेबल इमूवेबल वॉट इव वॉट एवर दाव दैट पोर्शन ऑफ द क्रिएशन अधिभूतम एंड ऑल्सो वॉट इज इट वॉट इज दधिदैवम किम उच्चते एंड वॉट इज इट दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अधिदैवम विच इज द गवर्निंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ द इंटायर डिविनिटी ऑफ द गॉड्स एंड गॉडिसेस एंड वॉट नॉट वॉट एवर इज बियॉन्ड द ह्यूमन परस्पेक्टिव द दैवी परस्पेक्टिव वॉट इज दैट called as so that was the question arjuna asked uh, uh, to start this uh, eighth adhyay and now he has remaining doubts also that he is going to ask in this second shloka that we are going to read today arjuna is continuing his query adhiyatnya katham kotra dehesmin madhusudana prayana kale cha katham niyosi niyatatma bhi You spoke about adhyatma also, Krishna. In the thirtieth sloka of the Jnana Vidyana Yoga, you refer to something as adhyatma, where Sri Krishna had said that uh, uh, sadhi bhuta adhi devam mam sadhi yadyam chye viduhu. One who knows me as the adhyatma. What is this adhyatma? earlier you spoke about adhibhuta then you spoke about adhidaiva now you also spoke about adhiyatnya what is that adhiyatnya katham kaha atra dehesmin and where does it come into picture as far as this body is concerned o madhusudana o slayer of the demon madhu krishna had slain that demon madhu and now arjuna is addressing krishna as madhusudana because since he had ad, uh, slayed that demonic body of the madhu hmm arjuna wants to know in which way is this adibhuta related to the body as such body of a devotee hmm body of the beings o oh, madhusudana o oh, Ma krishna you who have slain the body of that demon madhu now let me know Hmm? In what relation? Uh, what is first of all? Tell me what is this adhiyatnya? What is this governing principle of sacrifices? And what way? Hmm? Ko atra dehesmin. What way it is related to this body here in this body? This sacrifice. How can this sacrifice be part of this body as such? And then. the remaining doubts pertaining to the last sentence of the 30th shloka of the jnana vidyana yoga where shri krishna had said that <coughs> shri krishna had talked about prayana kale pi cha mam te kale pi cha mam te vidur yukta chetasa at the death bed these yogis Mm, they will be fully alert in their mind. They will be conscious that of that they are dying, and with that conscious mind, at the end of the uh, life cycle, when they are on the deathbed, prayan kali, at the time of death, they will cross over to me. Now Arjuna asks, pertaining to that line, prayan kali cha katham ne yaha asi niyatatma bhi hi that. at the time of uh, death hmm when this uh, life phase is going to get over hmm that how these uh, self controlled hmm niyatatma uh, bhi who have uh, uh, full control over their faculties the term shri krishna had used was uh, you uh, oops, oops, sorry 
the term that Sri Krishna had used was Yukta Cheta Saha with the alert mind with the, the, the uh, uh, steadfast mind focused on me so here in this uh, uh, shloka Arjuna is asking Niyatatma Bhihi with that self-controlled mind their mind focused on you at the last moment you told that how come at the time of death these people with the self-controlled mind with the alertness hmm, they know you at the time of death simple question no uh, doubts on that and we put forth very clearly whatever is not clear Arjuna wants to get it clarified and Arjuna is requesting Arjuna is seeking these answers from the best among men from the Purushottama and in this second shloka which is basically bodily related that how come this sacrifice you are talking about the governing principle of sacrifices how is it related to this body they has been O Madhusudun O slayer of the demon Madhu O slayer of the body of the demon Madhu please tell me what is the significance of the, the sacrifice of this body and you being the governing principle of that sacrifice and also tell me now this is a crossing over so the body is going to end prayana kale cha katham neyaha asi niyatam atma bhihi how at the time of the death when they are going to give up this body they are their mind is steady fully focused on you their faculties, all their faculties are alert. They are not uh, blabbering something at the time of death. Uh, it is not that they are not aware that they are crossing over. They are fully aware. They are fully aware that this transition is going to happen. They very much know. They are not in the dark. They are not gloomy. They are not confused. Cheta saha jnana yukta. Their mind is sharp. It is not that their mind and intellect and their internal faculties have all gone astray. No. With mind fully focused on the Lord, they are going to make this transition from the stage of life to the stage of death. That is the crossover, that is a passover they are going to make and that is what Arjuna asks. Who and how is Adiyatnya here in this body? Oh Madhusudana, first you tell me that. And also, how is it that at the time of death are you to be known by those self-controlled? How is it that they come to know of you at the time of death? What is it that makes them alert at the time of death that yes they are going to cross over and they are going to be one with you so that is Arjuna's question pertaining to the 29th and the 38th sloka of the Jnana Vidyana Yoga the concluding two stanzas of the previous discourse induce Arjuna to raise these seven questions so this is what uh, Arjuna has asked in terms of the seven questions. And what are these seven questions? Kim Tat Brahma. For his first question was, what is the Brahma? Then Kim Adhyatma. What is Adhyatma that you spoke about? Kim Karma. What is that Karma part that you told about just now? Again, in the Jnana Vidyana Yoga. Then Adi Bhutam Cha Kim Proktam. What is what do you mean by what, what is it called as Adi Bhutta and Adi Daivam Kimuchate? What is called as Adi Daivam? These were the Adi Daivam. These are the five questions Arjuna asked in the first shloka of Akshara Brahma Yoga. In the second shloka, Arjuna asked about what is Adi Yadnya? Adi Yadnya Katham. And what is its relationship with the body? Kaha Atra Dehesmin. What way it is linked to this body? 
the Adhiyadnya. So that was the sixth question. And then seventh question was Prayana Kale Chakatham Neyaha Asi Niyatatman Bhihi. These Niyatatma Bhihi, these self controlled yogis, how is it that Prayana Kale they Neyaha Asi? They know you at the time of their death, at the time of the crossover from the leaving phase to the phase of the dead. How is it that they know? Seven simple questions and Sri Krishna is going to address these seven questions in this Akshara Brahma Yoga, the Yoga of Imperishable Brahma that will start from our next reading from the third shloka. So as of now, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Sri Krishna Arpanamastu Jai Sri Ramakrishna Jai Thakur Jai Maha Jai Swamiji